Hey guys, good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Adesia and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. So you guys, in today's video, I'm going to be making oha soup, okay, or ora soup, but well, we call it oha soup in Anambra State. And this is my first time ever, ever cooking this food by myself. Um, I've helped my mom cook it, you know, in the, when I was younger, but I've never cooked the food from scratch. You know, to finish by myself. I've never even peeled or her by myself. My mom usually used to do it then, you know. So I'm going to be doing everything for the first time now. And the reason why I have never really experimented with cooking this soup is that the soup is too difficult, I beg. The processes are just too many. There are simpler ways of doing it anyway, but me, I want to cook the authentic, you know, I want to make it the authentic um um an ambra way of cooking the soup, authentic an ambra way of cooking the soup, and the authentic way is we use um, we use aku that is banga palm kernel instead of just red, red oil. We use the banga itself. So we also use cocoa yam to thicken the soup. You can use I know my mom used to use sometimes like the cheat way of doing it. You can use oats, blended oats meal to thicken the soup, and actually there's really not not much difference. You won't really taste the difference. And she just uses red oil straight sometimes too, but I want to cook it the real way. So let me show you guys the ingredients that we have. So this is the oha. That's our oha. This is oha oha leaf. This is um uziza uziza leaf. Um, this is what do they call it? Ogiri. This is ogiri. Without without this, the soup is not complete. Then this is banga, just finished boiling it. This is our meat. Um, yeah, I, I've already boiled the meat. And this is Ede. Ede is cooking. So the Ede is not yet ready, but once it's ready, um, we're going to pound it. So I'm put blend. You can blend it, but I think I'm just going to pound it. We have a mortar. Um, but right now, I have to go and start doing the oha. Now, the way we do oha, we don't use knife to cut it. We use hand. I think maybe some people use knife. I don't know. But for the way I have seen my mom doing it over the years, we use... This is the oha. So what she does is she'll peel it like this and remove all this. Then now cut it. She usually just cuts it with her hands like this. So there's this, like if you get an oha like this now, that's already, that has fallen from the, some of them fall from the stem after a while, um, from the branch, okay? So if you get the one that's fallen from the branch like this, you remove this part. We just do it and then we cut, we just peel the oha like this, finish. We don't cut it with knife. Uh, it doesn't have to be neatly cut or neatly peeled. You just, once you remove this part, you just cut the remaining. And that's it. <music>
Ah, the funny thing is that it's interesting to me how I never cooked this soup before, but because of years of helping my mom, I just know what to do, which is funny. So always involve your children in the kitchen, even if they're not the ones doing the cooking themselves. Just let them be around, let them help out, let them see what's happening. And yeah, that's how they learn. Hey guys, so today is the next day. I actually finished cooking the soup yesterday. I even ate it for dinner yesterday, but I didn't, you know, complete the video because I was tired, I was stressed out. So today, I said, let me just show you guys the end product. So this is my food. That's my soup. This is in focus now. So yeah, um, I can't believe that I was craving this soup like last year, sometime last year I was craving this soup badly Instead of me to just go to market and buy ingredients to cook it, I was like, you know what, I think I'll call my mom She was in Lagos, so I said I think I'll call my mom to cook the soup for me and kind of send it down I don't know how, but let her just send it down <laughs> Instead of just go to market and cook it But yeah, I ended up just, you know, cooking the soup yesterday and it tastes really good I'm going to be eating it today with my swallow, this swallow is actually eba, it is Ijebu Gari and Ijebu Gari is actually my best type of Gari yes, I can drink it and I can use it for eba, okay? yes, I know all these evil people now in their mind, they're like, what is wrong with this girl? see, that's your business, okay? I like, <laughs> I prefer Ijebu Gari to yellow or white Gari, I prefer Ijebu Gari so, that's what I'm going to be using to eat and this is the quantity I usually eat of gari. In fact, sometimes smaller than this because personally, I eat eba because of the soup, not because of eba. So it confuses me when I see people who eat big eba and small soup. I'm like, how? <laughs> like, how? For me, I can't even do without the eba and just leave the soup straight. So, yeah. Anyway, while I eat, I'm going to just you guys a story I remembered yesterday and I was like, People would like to hear this story. It's a very short story anyway. And the story is about how I thought my daughter had been kidnapped. Yes? I actually like eating my food very hot. This food is no longer as hot as I usually like it. Because I took a while trying to set up my camera and all that. Anyway. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. What? It even tastes better than it tasted yesterday. Hey, hey. We're about to eat oha soup in this house still. <laughs> till Jesus comes. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anyway, so this story is about how I thought my child had been kidnapped. Cora, yes, I thought Cora had been kidnapped. Okay, for some minutes. I could relate with mothers who have missing children. In fact, let me not, I can't even relate. God, God, let me not be able to relate in Jesus' name because I can't imagine having a missing... Oh, God of mercy. Anyway, sorry if this topic is going to be triggering or sensitive to anybody, but I just want to tell you guys my story, okay? It's not my intention to offend anybody, please. Anyway, so, one day, after I had um, Ava... I was pursuing Eva one day and I, I had a help then. Cora was disturbing, you know, she wanted bread or something. She came to me and was crying, she wants bread, she wants bread. Anyway, as I was saying, sorry, my battery died. Anyway, my food is now cold. Oh, but it's still delicious anyway. So yeah, um, Cora came and told me she wanted, she wants to eat bread, she wants to eat bread. And that day I was just tired. And we didn't have bread in the house, but we had, we had a bakery close to my house. Not so close, but it's, it's a walking distance from my house. But it's near the main road, okay? By main road, I mean, if you know Stadium Road, Porter Court, it's, Stadium Road is like a major road, okay? So, it's near the main road, but it's, it was close to my house because we are living, you know, close to that road there. So, since she wanted bread, she wanted bread, I now called my help. Let me call her, Cynthia. I now called my help, Cynthia. I told her that. She should just go and buy bread. Akora needs bread. So she said, okay. So, I was breastfeeding Ava. It was in the morning. I was still wearing my pyjama self. In fact, I think I was wearing one pyjama. Like, you know when you have one dead pyjama that you just wear? I was wearing it because I was breastfeeding. So, it was, it was giving me easy access. <laughs> you know? And so, Cora had had her bath then. So I now told the, the I now told the Cynthia that she should go and buy bread for Cora. Cora was really crying. She wants bread. She wants bread. I said, okay, okay, go and buy the bread for Cynthia. Uh, and I said, okay, go and buy the bread for Cora. 
for a split second then that's why as a mom and as a christian basically but especially as a mom you need to learn and train yourself to listen to the holy spirit okay i won't even call it god's instinct or an instinct or god or whatever I'll just say it's the Holy Spirit because, like I said, it's the Holy Spirit. It's God that raises children. Okay, it's God that will give you the wisdom on how to raise your kids. So, for a split second, the Holy Spirit said, "Tell Cynthia not to go out with Cora." Okay, but in my mind, I was busy. I was breastfeeding. You know, when you're not even so used to listening to the Holy Spirit, you just it just it just sounded like a, a like a little thought, like a very silent thought. So. It thing told me, the, the spirit told me, tell her not to go out with Cora. But I was like, is she, is she mad that she will go out with Cora? Like, she does not have sense that she will carry my child and be going out of this house, out of this compound. That what happened? Like, this is something that I've never tolerated, okay? But in fairness to her and to my gates man, I have never told them expressly that do not take my child out of this compound. Which is something... You know, you need to do as a mom. Once you bring anybody into your house, give them all your rules, including the gates man, including anybody that is around, neighbor, or whatever. Just tell them that, see you, oh, this is a no no. Okay, but I didn't do that because I just felt like people should have sense to know that they're not supposed to allow my child to live without me being there or something, you know. Anyway, and then we had a gates man that was elderly, kind of. We were close to him too. So I just thought that. You know, if anything, even if somebody tries to carry my child, he will call me or ask me or whatever. So, but I was still persuading Eva, I was doing other things, I was really distracted, so I didn't really pay attention. So, Cynthia left. As she left, I noticed that I stopped hearing Cora's voice. But I didn't still, like I said, I was distracted, I was persuading Eva, I didn't still pay attention that much, I, I didn't hear Cora's voice. Next, I noticed that I, I wait to. I didn't hear Cora's voice, and you know where you have toddlers because <laughs> Cora was like two years plus there. Once you have small children and they are quiet and they were crying before, they're now suddenly quiet. You better go and check because <laughs> your television might be on the floor, your <laughs> all your laundry might be down the, downstairs. You know, just have to be careful. So, when I now I didn't hear her voice, like, I thought it was like 10 minutes. When I didn't hear her voice, like, I said, Hey, this is not normal. Where's Eva? Uh, where's Cora? And I started shouting, Cora, where are you? Where, are you? where is Cora? I didn't hear her voice. She didn't answer. Normally, she would have said, yes, mommy, or something. I didn't hear her voice. I now carried Eva. Eva was still sucking, though. Know? I carried Eva. I wasn't wearing slippers. I carried Eva. I went to Cora's room. I didn't see Cora. No, I was even in Cora's room. I went to my room, my bedroom. I didn't see Cora. I went to um, Cynthia's room. I didn't see her. I went to the kitchen. I didn't see Cora. Eh? That was when it was if the volume now turned up. <laughs> you know, when there has been background noise since that you refuse to listen to. That was when it was if the volume now came up and said, I told you to tell her not to go out with Cora. Where is Cora? Hey! This thing just told me she has gone out with Cora. Immediately, I carried Eva. Eva was stuck to one breast, too. One breast like this was open. My, my, I was wearing all this uh, flowy t shirt, okay, nightwear. Uh, my t-shirt barefoot i started walking downstairs in fact like i felt like i jumped stairs okay i got downstairs i saw gates man i quickly just you know removed my breast from eva's mouth you know not carried eva like this but i was still barefoot no bra nothing nothing and i saw the gate man and i said he now said ah but you don't wake that was usually said you don't wake i said i beg did you see cora he said eh cora follow cynthia and they go buy bread I said that they go buy bread i said eh buy bread for where <laughs> You guys, I don't know about how, how people do it in their home. I know some people don't mind. But in my house, I don't even leave my child alone with help in the house. Like, as good as Amarachi is and as good as she is with, with them, I don't leave my children alone with her in this house. And in this house, there are cameras. Though. There are cameras in the house. We have a gate man, everything. I still do not leave my children at home alone with her. Not because she will do anything to, to my children, but because I just feel like, I don't know. I just don't want. I don't want to hear stories. I don't. I don't want to watch anything on the camera. I don't want. Ah, I was watching plates. Uh, I didn't know that uh, Cora went and uh, 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 left the gate. Or I was uh, cleaning the room. I didn't know that Eva went and jumped the stairs. <laughs> you know, God forbid. But that's why I don't leave my help at home with with my um, my kids. Okay. And in the house, there's camera. Out. Then imagine now someone carrying your child and now going outside to main road. Hey, hey God of mercy. I said, eh. 
I started walking. I just left the gate. I was carrying it, but I left the gate. I started walking on barefoot. And outside the outside my gate, then oh, I have grand, the, the road was not smooth. It wasn't tired. I was walking next and I now saw Eva and Cora and the help just smiling and walking back, coming back to the house. I said, Where did you go to? She said, eh, that because Cora was crying to follow her, she now carried Cora. Hey! I said, Please don't you ever, 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 don't you ever carry Cora out of this house again, okay? Because if anything happens to my daughter, I will kill you and I'll look for family members and I'll kill them as well. To be honest, I know I overreacted. And I don't know why I even did that, but I was so scared. What started going through my head is that what if she has carried her and run away? And the girl is actually from, she's not from Portacord, but she lived in Portacord before she came to stay in my house. Okay? I had gone to her house in Portacord. I met her parents, I met her family. Okay? But that is not enough consolation for me because. If anything happens, my family say they don't know about it. Will I, will I kill all of them? Will I, will I, as in, they can't produce the girl or whatever. I'll get my child. Hmm. With all the stories we've been hearing of kidnapping children and all that. Hmm. I told her, don't you ever, if anything happens to my child, I will kill you and I will kill all your family members. <laughs> what a stupid thing to say because I can't even do that. But anyway, she now said, okay. And I told Gitman, I told Gitman, please. Please, for no reason should anybody take my child out of this house and you agree, please. You know, he was all laughing. He said, ah, now this bread they go by now. You know how this our uh, olden days generation now, in their mind is normal. I mean, you can allow your child go out with anybody, do anything with anybody. You can allow anybody stay with your child. You won't even know that your child is being abused. You know how you know how it was, it was with that generation now. So, I'm sure in the man's mind, in the man's mind, he's like, why is this one overreacting? What's there? Is it not just kind of child to go and buy bread? I don't know back. Why are you acting like this? And I said, please, I beg. He was trying to explain to me that it's just bread they meant to buy. I said, please, I beg. Don't allow anybody carry my child out of this house, okay? And that's why I know Wahala. So, that was how I now, you know, turned back. Held Cora, like, held her. Like, <laughs> let her run away again. Held Cora. Walked back upstairs. But in that time between when I realized that Cora was not in my house... And when I eventually saw Cora, you guys, I can't explain what I was going through. And I think that's why I laughed at the girl because my mind went... That's why it's not good sometimes to consume some kind of, you know, information or content or whatever. Because these are the things that inform your decision or inform your reaction at some point. Because if I wasn't someone who had heard so much about kidnapping children or things like that, maybe I wouldn't have... I'd just be like, ah, be careful. But... A thousand and one things came to my mind at that point. What if she had kidnapped my child? Okay, what if she carried Cora and then Cora removed her hand and ran into the main road? Because the, the bike is on the main road. It's not like it's near the road. It's near the road. Just like a few feet away from, you know, the main road. You know, and Cora sometimes, you know how kids are now. You can be walking with them. Next thing, they'll just remove the hand and start running, okay? So, and this might help. It's not someone that... In fact, then, people used to tell me that I should get someone bigger. She was old, though. She's even older than Amara. In fact, she was, she was old. But she had a very smallish stature, and Cora was a big child. Okay, Cora was a big child. So then people used to say, ah, that this this one, her and Cora, who is bigger? So in my mind, I was like, ha, how how would she be able to control Cora? What if Cora gets to run the road and sees something shiny and then removes her hand and runs into the main road? Ah, hmm. Hmm. I was so scared then. Eh? Anyway, thank God the nothing happened to her. She was fine, she was smiling, she was even the one holding the bread. You know, they went to buy. After a while, I now called my help and told her that, see, uh, I'm really sorry for the way I talked, but the truth is that, please, next time, ask me first. I'm at home. It's not like I'm, I'm not at home. It's not like, oh, you didn't know or whatever. I'm at home, for goodness sake. You want to carry my child and go out? Ask me first. Ah, please, oh, Cora wants to follow me. Can I carry her and go? This one, you didn't ask me. You didn't even tell me. You just left my house with my child. Hmm. You know, even if I couldn't stay at home alone with Cora self, I would have, I would have said, okay, you start to let me go and buy the bread, or everybody enter my car, let's go and buy the bread, you know. You can't be too careful, okay. People that allow strangers come and stay in their house, and by strangers, I mean long distance, I, I mean distant relatives. They allow them to come and stay in your house for weeks, for months, you know. They, they play with your kids anyhow, you don't even check on them, you just leave them to do anything they want to do. There are no cameras in your house. Hmm. I know fit. Hmm? Mm -mm. Because... I know that I went through as a child in the hands of all these people. 
I know what I went through. I don't know if I've, I've ever done a story time on that. I never have. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll do a story time on that of how I was abused, okay? So, I know why I use my ear here, say, under my watch. Something happened to my child. Under my watch. No way. That's why I'm very, very extra careful with things like that. I've even heard of helps that when Madame goes to work, she will bring men into the house while her children are there. While Madame's children are there, the help will bring men into the house. I don't know how some of these people reason. Some useless men that will say, Oh, I like this Madame's child, though. Bring Madame's child for me. The useless help might carry the child and gang give the Madame's child, and uh, gang give the man. You know, so many nasty things I've heard about in this life. I'm just like, hmm. The rate of child abuse is very, very high. When I say very high, I mean very, very high. Even when I want to get help, sometimes I'm skeptical about getting helps that live in the same city where I live because they know more places, they have more contacts. You know, they have they come in contact with more people. You don't know. Some of them are not even have bad intentions, but. Their friends, their boyfriends, the men they meet, will now tell them, hmm, now your madam self, what does she do? What does her husband do? Where do they, yeah, why, what is in their house? You two now be talking, yeah, they have this one, they have that one, they have this one, they have that one. Ah, the room, the gate is from here. The front door leads from here to here. Before you know what's happening, the help will now give the guys the information. They will now use it and come and do something. Hmm, so... Sometimes having helps are necessary evil. We have the very good ones. So if you ha if you find a good help, you are made like you are made like <laughs> like if you really find a good help, like you'll be balling. But if you find bad ones, it's better for you to stay alone than to stay with a bad help. I've not even drank water once. No wonder I feel like I'm choking. Anyway, guys, so that brings me to the end of this video. Let me just end this video here. I'll still finish my meal off camera. Anyway, I don't know why. When I eat a bar, I always remain small like this. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I can't finish. Like, this last part now is, is doing me like I can't finish it. Even though it's just once or twice, one or two swallows and it'll be gone. But I feel like I'm full. Once I just see this, I don't know. Anyhow. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this very delicious soup. I'm thinking of filming another video immediately after this because... I cannot come and waste this my top now that I just wore now. I don't even know why I wore this top on my wig. So I can't waste this. I'm going to film another video immediately after this. So if you guys see this top in my next video, I beg. I film this immediately after this. Okay, I cannot go and change. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also please follow me on Instagram if you know if you want to. Okay, anyway. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.